Hey guys, this is Norman over with Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about multimotor wiring with Soundtracks decoders, so let's get started. So recently we've been getting a lot of questions about how you wire multiple motors together in a single model with a single decoder. Now, there are two different methods of doing this, and both of them have pros and cons. You can either wire them in parallel or in series. We'll go over the advantages and the disadvantages, as well as telling you how to wire both in series and in parallel. In front of us here, we have two motors, and we have one of our blue 4408 decoders. And we're going to use these today to demo both of these setups. So on this decoder, you can see that we have two tabs, M minus and M plus. And these are the two tabs we're going to use to actually hook up our motors. But you may notice that we have two motors. So how do we hook up two motors? Well, that's where series or parallel wiring comes in. If we do parallel wiring as per this diagram, what we do is we hook both negatives together. We then hook both positives together, and we would feed them into the same terminals. So in this case, what we're going to do is take our two plus wires. We're going to put them into the M plus terminal, like so. And we're just going to screw them down like so. And then we'll do the same with our negative wires. Put them together. Put them into the M minus terminal. And screw it down. And screw it down like so. And at this point, these two motors would now operate in a parallel configuration. Now, there are a couple of advantages. There's an advantage to this and a disadvantage. The disadvantage is that this doubles the power draw of the two motors in question. So these two motors draw 0 0.55 an amp each. So if we have both of them together in a parallel configuration, they will draw a total of 1.1 amps. Now, this would be too much to use on one of our one amp decoders. If you had two motors that were drawing, let's say, 2.5 amps, then together, wired in parallel, they would actually draw 5 amps, which is beyond the capabilities of even our blue 4408 to drive, as it only has a 4 amp motor circuit. However, the advantage is you retain the full speed range of both motors. Contrast that with what we're about to talk about, which is series wiring where that is not the case. And as you can see, I've already hooked up one negative lead to the M minus terminal and one positive lead to the M plus terminal from different motors. So to complete the series, what we now do is we actually want to connect the positive from one motor to the negative of the other motor, and this creates a full loop which is what's known as a series configuration. Now, the advantage of this is that it actually drastically lowers your motor stall current. So remember what I was talking about earlier with two two and a half amp motors being able to overload our blue 4408. In this situation, that wouldn't happen. If these were two and a half amp motors, by wiring them in series, we'd actually cut their total stall current in half all the way down to 1.25 amps. And this would allow us to use these very high draw motors on decoders rated for lower amperage. However, remember what I mentioned with the parallel system being able to retain its full speed range. In a series configuration, you're actually going to see your, speed, your top speed cut in half. So what was half speed is now going to be your full speed. In some scenarios, some models actually have the motors situated such that they actually need to spin in two opposite directions. Now, in order to handle this, we can actually flip the polarity of one of our motors. So using a series configuration as an example, 
instead of connecting our motor's positive wire into the M plus terminal, we would actually connect our negative wire into the M minus terminal and then hook the two positives together or vice versa. This means that we have now configured it such that these two motors will spin in opposite directions. This is useful for instances where the motors are facing in two different directions, for instance if they're embedded into the truck of the model. So for these reasons it's very dependent on the exact situation you're, you're in, which one you want to go with, either series or parallel. And it depends on your motor stall current and which decoder you're actually going to be, you have the space for. Because the blue 4408 is much larger than the blue 2200, which is our 2 amp decoder. Now, if you don't know the individual stall current of the motors in your model, I would actually recommend that you check out our stall current video linked up here. And that video will guide you through how you can actually figure out, okay, what is the individual stall current of one of my motors? And from that, you can make your decision on whether or not you need to use series or parallel wiring. So that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, ring the bell, in order to make sure you get notified the next time we upload great content like this. That's going to be it for this week. Thanks for watching.